holy, holy, yes. We're to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Every day we get an opportunity. Look at the beautiful sunshine. Oh my, I don't know what you're going through today, but God is with us and he is worthy to be praised. Whatever circumstance, situation you find yourself in, he is there with you. Aren't you glad that you're not alone? In 2 Corinthians 4, yes, Paul reminds us that we're going to have a lot of trials and situations and tests, but we're not annihilated. We're still here. In fact, he says that we are brought down, but we still can get up. Huh? That's right. What was that? We fall down, but we get up. I remember Donnie McClurkin. Mm hmm? Listen, but the Lord allows us to be able to be triumphant in our trials and tribulations. Even though things might look and sound and feel a certain way, we are troubled on every side, yet we're not distressed. We are perplexed. <laughs> Sometimes we're like, whoa, what's going on? We have questions. But we're not in despair. Despair means beyond depression where there's absolutely no hope. Look, there's always hope in the Lord. That's why I, I was so thankful for that officer. What's her name? Officer Shaw, who had the Holy Spirit within her. And she was able to minister to that teenage young man in Memphis. He was, he was a, a father. And he felt so hopeless, not, not beyond depression, but despair. And don't we know so many people who are feeling like, oh, I can't go another moment. Listen, the Lord will make it so that he'll give you that resilience, that, that tenacity, that might. Power belongs to him. Call it the name of the Lord. We can't do it in these, these puny earthen vessels, these containers, these tents. First of all, they're not made to last, right? Because the inner man is renewed day by day by the spirit of the Lord. But this exterior, this covering, this bottle, it's, it's wearing out daily. We, we see it age. We see gravity taking hold. We see it's the knees, the hips, the whatever. You need a replacement. We're not, this is not made to be eternal, but our souls. And the Lord will renew and refresh and revitalize every day. We might be persecuted, but not forsaken. We're not alone. Hallelujah. We don't have to do life alone. So this is what I'm saying. This is the remedy for those who are trying to do it their way. Oh no, it'll never work. You'll never be satisfied. There is a God-shaped empty vacuum right there where it will never be filled with relationship, temporary. It will never be filled with love, valentines. No, romantic, flowers, diamonds, candy, nothing, dinners, nothing. Because God is the only one who can fill our every longing and make us satisfied. In him and him alone. Hmm? We might be persecuted, but not forsaken. We're not alone. Cast down, but we're not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made. This is the word everybody loves to use. I'm going, to, I manifested this. Listen, that the Life also, Jesus may be made manifest in you. That's what you need to manifest. <laughs> you are not the center stage, like the halftime show. You're not. You are crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, you live, you exist in this container, but it's not you, but it's Christ who lives in you, the hope and glory, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. So the life also of Jesus, again, verse 11, might be made manifest in this mortal flesh. 
So that's why we can continue to get up each day and enjoy the presence of the Lord, even though many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord promises to be with us and to deliver us out of all of them. It might not be the answer and the remedy you want, ideally, but he's with you and he will give you his grace, which is more than sufficient, which is more than complete. And talking about the sufficiency and the completion of the Lord, remember in the previous chapter, 2 Corinthians 3, it says not that we are sufficient of ourselves. We can't do anything, but <laughs> our sufficiency is of God. That's why we can live, move, have our being in the midst of trial and tribulation. We are praying for those, the families, the survivors in Turkey and Syria, over 33,000. Listen, that 